for this particular project, one of the objectives was to not only develop the students' skills of applying statistical process control in a food manufacturing environment, but to also improve the students' environmental literacy so that when they go into industry, they'll identify problems that have sustainability-related issues and make an impact and make the world a better place. For this project, we, we collaborated with the folks at the Howling Cow Dairy Processing Plant on campus. And they're so good to work with. And their processing plant is a great opportunity to give the students some hands-on training that they wouldn't get otherwise. So we put the students into three groups, and each group had their own project. And the projects were different. We had one group working on water usage in the dairy processing plant, trying to reduce water usage. The second group was looking at the quality of that water as it went into the waste stream, so that it was a wastewater quality project. And then the third group was trying to reduce energy usage in the dairy processing plant. So all three of them connected together in, in a theme of sustainability. It was about the, a month into these projects when all three groups decided to focus on the crate washing machine in the plant because it had so much room for improvement. What they noticed was this crate washing machine was using so much excessive water and not only that but the cleaning chemicals that were being used to wash the crates were ending up in the drain. Um, we were looking at chemical oxygen demand and biological oxygen demand and the wastewater quality um, was just not good. And, um, as all of this was going on, the energy usage, it was mostly the pump running the machine, was using so much excessive energy. So all three groups came together with their data and it was, it was a good story. As this project moved on and the story developed, some of the students stayed over spring break to collect their data and then they saw an opportunity with the sustainability office on campus, which had their first request for proposals for a new grant program that they had. And so some of the students collaborated on a grant proposal in which they were proposing for funds to replace the crate washing machine with, with one that was much more sustainable. The students were not awarded that grant. It was a competitive year since it was the first year of that grant program. I think they had a good proposal. But at the end of the day, one of the outcomes was um, the folks at Howling Cow have this data and this story to tell and they've been working with industry to find a corporate um, partner who may be able to help us replace the crate washing machine. My dream outcome for this project is that it's just the beginning of us developing an understanding through scholarship and teaching and learning of how to take a group of students who may or may not understand the environmental issues that they'll face in their generation's lifetime and so how can we take them and give them an experiential learning project in which they'll develop their environmental literacy skills so that as they go into industry, they'll take that with them and they'll take the initiative to start new projects to make that company that they're working at in a food manufacturing environment much more environmentally sustainable.